I have here a T-Wing Turbo Force Medium. As you can see, it's a very light bike. We've taken the DJI motor and battery out of it because we want to get to the bottom of what is the real weight advantage between motors, new DJI motor, Bosch systems. It's got inner tubes, it's not tubeless. It's a carbon frame. It's got a 35 fork on it, a RockShox Lyric, single non piggyback shock, Ram build kit, GX, 29 a front and rear, an all mountain bike. We've already weighed this according to our balance scale here, which if it's inaccurate, it's the same level of inaccuracy across everything. It weighs 14.57 kilos without the battery and motor. Don't forget this channel is supported by Liat. Go check out their website for all the latest protection on the market. I have here, the battery, the Avinox 800 watt hour battery, as you can see, you bring it in your hand, you think, oh, it weighs, well, how much does it weigh compared to the Bosch 800 watt hour battery, which I have here? And you put the two together and you go, actually, I can't feel any difference. We weighed them. The 800 watt hour battery from Bosch weighs 3,985 grams or 3.9 kilos. And the one from DJI weighs 3.75. There is a difference of 235 grams. Now, that difference, when you look at the actual batteries themselves, probably can be explained mainly by the case outer because it's got the same number of cells in it, both 36 volts. So we look at the case, this is battery is designed to be removed. I think, looking at this, the design of the battery, the connection, the connectors, it's got a mount on it, things like that make this battery a little bit more robust because if you have to take it out of the bike and you drop it, you want to make sure that it's gonna be strong. The shape and the size and the styling of the case of the Avinox and it's a little bit more simpler. It's probably, well, it has no connectors here, completely blank end. So this thing is not designed for being removed. It's got a different plug on it. It has a different lock on it. So you, just, you don't have a, a connector. So it's a, it's a simpler battery to the eye. They both respect the same regulations, and I think that's important. So when you look on the end of them or you look at the print, and they got the same certifications on the batteries. Anyway, so that's an important point. So the batteries, there's only a couple of hundred grams of difference there. So we weighed this bike, 14.65 kilos. Let's remove that. It's an all mountain bike, medium size. Now to do a comparison, we needed a bike which comes with a Bosch system, and we've got the Mondraker Crafty R in medium. We took out the Bosch battery and the Bosch motor from this because obviously we wanted to understand again what's the reality of the weight. So when we weighed this, the weight came in at 15.8 kilos. Now this has a Fox 38 fork. This is an enduro bike. It's got a bigger piggyback on the Flotex shock and we've got slightly other other differences, although the tires are slightly lighter on the T-Wing. Fundamentally, there is a weight difference of 1.3 kilos between the two bikes. This is 1.3 kilos heavier. The 38 fork is 2.42 uh, kilos, whereas the RockShox uh, 35 fork is 1.9. So there's a, the rest of it comes from other components on the bike. The T-Wing has a, a carbon handlebar. This has an aluminium handlebar. It's 100 grams there. We've got uh, different wheel sets, we've got different tires. The T-Wing's actually got slightly heavier tires than this, so that's interesting. This has got a removable battery, so the frame's a little bit more robust because it has to be designed to have the battery removed, so there's a large hole in this. We've also got an aluminium rear triangle. The pricing of these bikes is about the same. This one's a little bit more expensive, but at the end of the day, we're in the same ballpark, but we've got two different use types. We've got an all mountain use type there, and we've got an enduro or mountain use type here. So that's two different things. I think it's quite interesting. So let's now look at the motors, because I think this is a really important point. So we took the DJI motor out, and here it is, the Avinox. We left one of the pedal things on so we could actually hang it, and we weighed these. They're exactly the same weight, 225 grams. We weighed it, and like that, it's with the uh, pedal arm, it's 2.81 kilo. So when we do the Bosch with the pedal arm, uh, which is the same weight, we end up with 3.09 kilos. So 200 grams difference. So the Avinox system here, the actual weight difference between this and the Bosch, 500 grams, which is not a huge amount. You're not gonna notice 500 grams of difference on the bike. It's like putting a water bottle on the bike and riding it and saying, can you feel the difference? Out of interest, we also got a Shimano motor. And when we weigh that, this one comes in out with the pedal arm at 
2865. It's around 50 grams heavier than DJI, which is imperceptible for sure on the bike. This got me thinking, what is going on? Because DJI have been selling the bike, the Amflow, the T-Wing based on weight. Wow, we have the most powerful motor, we have the most powerful uh, system on the market. And I'm like, okay, well, is that all about the motor or is it about the bike? So I thought, well, hang on a minute, let me try this. Let me weigh this. It's a 600 watt hour Bosch battery. When you compare the 600 watt hour Bosch battery to the Avinox battery, you, well, you find actually that this one is 3.055 grams. So this battery is 900 grams lighter than the Bosch 800 watt hour. When you look at like Santa Cruz and companies who've put this in their bike, it does save a whole kilo of weight on the bike, basically, between all the attachment points and things like that. And it saves about 700 grams versus the Avanox. So we're like thinking, okay, well, this is interesting. So we can have a 600 watt hour battery and we can get close, we can lose a kilo. All right, so great. But the total weight of the T-Wing came in at about 21.5 kilos. So the Avanox comes in 200 grams lighter than the Bosch battery, 700 grams heavier than the Bosch 600 watt hour battery. So you can use a thousand watts because the motor pushes at a thousand watts in peak mode. So you're going to drain this battery more quickly than the 800 watt, even Bosch say that with their new software update. This idea of full power, lightweight, especially after I tried the Fuel EX, you know, it comes down to one thing. It's all about how light you build the bike. It's absolutely nothing to do with the motor and the battery, so, which is I think where the marketing's got it wrong and they've made this idea that you think it's all about the battery and the motor when it's not. It saves half a kilo of weight, but we're not talking four kilos. We're talking half a kilo. The rest comes from, so instead of weighing 24 kilos, uh, you say, and you're down at 21.5, close look at the uh, Crafty, you take a close look at the T-Wing, you can see the difference on the bikes you can see the way they're built is completely different. This is definitely more robustly built than this, even though they're in the same category. That's a category four. There's a lot of marketing going on when it comes to claiming that you're trying to portray a bike's weight be lighter based exclusively or intentionally, mostly, let's call it, on the battery and the motor, where that's just simply not true. I take the Aminox motor and I simply put it, it might even fit, you know, yeah, it would fit. We just need a little adapter and it would fit. You take the Avanox motor and put it on the Mondraker bike, you're going to save 200 grams. That's not really anything. Avanox battery and you put it on the Mondraker bike. Will it fit? Mm, not really, but it could. You're going to save 250 grams. That's it. That's the same weight as a bottle of water on your frame. So what does this tell us about this whole bike weight motor power system? Well, essentially, the complete weight and the total power of a system is dependent upon the total product, not just one single element. Yes, you can save weight, but if you want to save a kilo or more, you're going to have to have a smaller battery, hence the Fuel EX. That has a significantly smaller battery to other bikes, so it can save over a kilo, because it's at 20.5, whereas the T-Wing is at 21.5, so there's your weight saving. So we get to one of my main points, then, of this whole video, which is, I think the focus has drifted in the wrong direction when it comes to bikes because e-bikes are being sold based on the motor alone. And the reality is when you strip them down and you start measuring things, you start to realize that the differences are not just the motor and the battery. It's a cumulative effect of the total bike. And the T-Wing Turbo Force is a greatly finished product. It looks really good, it's really well finished, uh, apart from the logo, which I don't like, but I said that in another video. But the actual, the way the motor fits in, it's all very, very good. It's not missing anything, but they have, by playing with different weighted items on the product, including the fork and the handlebar, they have reduced that weight, headline weight down to a weight which is, let's say, good for marketing. But the bike is an all-mountain bike. It's not an enduro bike. It won't take the impacts. It doesn't have a 38 fork on it. You put a 38 fork on it and you've already added 600 grams. Suddenly you're over 22 kilos. Add on a piggyback and you'll get a little bit more weight. Add on, you know, some uh, beefier wheels and again, you'll get even more weight. So the key factor is it's not all about the motor. 
I can't differentiate any weight differences between the two motors in my hands, which means highly likely when I'm pedaling and riding on the bike, I won't differentiate any weight difference based on the motor and battery alone. The system has been overly promoted possibly because when you really have it in your hand and you, you, you look at it, you go, wow, there's some great features on it. It looks good. The cable connections, pretty good, I have to say. Came unplugged really easy, very easy to remove. As easy to remove as the Bosch. Definitely a big improvement on older systems. I do have some gossip about the new Avinox motor. It will be a bit heavier than this. It'll be a couple of hundred grams heavier and it will have 130 Newton meters, which means it'll be the M2 and it should be launched at the beginning of the new year. Uh, this is obviously rumors, so, you know, but that's what I've uh, put all the information I've got from various sources together. So what we've ended up with is in order to have the extra torque, which they're going for, obviously going for numbers still, uh, you're going to have to have a slightly heavier motor. There's no way around it. Always you have to uh, be able to get rid of the heat. If I look at the motor and I see how it works together and the component style, you could probably run the Bosch at a thousand watts if you wanted to. Aminox have to pulse their motors to, in order to give it you a thousand watts, but it probably doesn't maintain that thousand watt peak for long. Uh, I've never actually tried it uh, on a long hill to see if it really does drop down. I will be doing that soon, actually. For me, when I hold the stuff in my hands and I look at it and I examine it closely, I look at the numbers, I compare the ride experience. I really have to say what the Avanox has that the Bosch doesn't have is software. It has different software. And I've said that all along, turn up the volume and you can have, because I hold these, I swap between the two and I really don't feel any big difference between them. If you change the software, you change the numbers, you change the power, you change the ride experience. For me, it makes me feel like, well, I need to do some exploring a bit maybe in the software, figure out uh, what's going on with uh, motor software, start learning to program it. Think and you can make your own conclusions, but at the end of the day, it seems like to me, the main difference between an Avanox based system and a Bosch system or another motor system is actually more to do with the build kit on the bike than it's anything to do with the motor and battery because 500 grams, you're not gonna notice. Anyway, leave your thoughts below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.